In this video, we're going to show you how to set up a connection to AVD using the remote desktop application in a Chromebook. When a Chromebook comes out of the box, the address information for AVD is not supplied. Uh, we're not able to push this out through the Google tools, so this is something that each user needs to do uh, manually. We typically do this for new users during the orientation process, but uh, if you're getting a new, maybe a replacement Chromebook, you would need to enter this information the first time. I apologize for this video. It has a little bit of a glare, but hopefully you'll be able to see the process. So the first thing you want to do is click the remote desktop icon on your ribbon, and then click the plus sign up in the upper right and choose Add Workspace. Then you've got to type in a URL. It's a bit long. I apologize. I'll have this. If you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be in the description. I would enter HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash rdweb.wvd.microsoft.com forward slash API forward slash ARM forward slash feed discovery. And then it'll verify that it finds that URL. And then just click the next button. And it'll go ahead and make a connection to the AVD workspace. So go ahead and log in with your user ID and password that you normally use to log into your Azure Virtual Desktop. Go ahead and put in my password here. And I'll respond to my Duo MFA prompt. And it'll complete the setting up of the workspace. So now I've got my workspace entered here in the remote desktop app. So to connect, I just go ahead and click on the icon. The first time you connect, it's going to ask if you want to allow access to things like cameras and microphones and speakers. I'll just tell it to not ask that again and allow it. And then just log in again. And this uh, Chrome, I'm, I'm going to choose not to save that. You typically don't want to be saving passwords in our browsers anyway. Uh, and now you can see I'm into my AVD session. And I'll just go ahead and log off to kind of show you again what it looks like on the Chromebook. So I'll go ahead and sign out. And I'm back to my uh, remote desktop. And you can see my workspace is still in here. If I close the application and open it back up again, it should, re, um, should open it back up again with my workspace uh, entered in here. And then just go ahead and click on the, the uh, WVD pool to connect to AVD, and that's it. So hopefully this helps you if you've got a replacement Chromebook uh, that you need to enter your AVD workspace information into. Thanks for watching.